And we cross the street and the main feature on the Leustico third, so Leustico Square, Leustic Square is the church. You cannot see it quite well due to all of the trees around it. But let's say this is the best view of it. So this is in Slovene it's called St. Jakobska Cerka, so it's a parish church. Um, but it's not St. Jacob as in you would as you would think that it would be translated to English, but it's actually St. James, so St. James the Great. As you can see, it was built in the early 1700s. So yeah, we can go in, or is it closed? It's opened. Interesting. So let me put on my mask and we will go in. Just the entrance is open, but you cannot go inside the church. I don't know. Uh, okay, this is. So, this is the church. It's closed, so the yeah, majority of the churches are closed during the day. But as you can see here, Mass weekdays 8.30, Sundays 8, 9.30, 8.30, holidays 9.30, 8.30. So yeah, and this is the, uh, it's connected, which is now, the, uh, this is not the parish house. So yeah, and is this the, it's part also of the Slovenia Camino, so International Jacobs, well, St. James. Uh -huh. St. James Pet Slovenia Camino, that's the uh -huh. James the Elder, James the Great, yeah. So, yeah. If you are avid traveler on foot, you can go, you know across the whole Europe. So, no Spain and we are Ljubljana, over there. So yeah. And let's say the second feature is this monument built in the late 17th century to commemorate uh, the victory of the Heb Habsburg Empire over the Ottoman Empire. And fountain which has seen better days in the past as you can see not working and another let's say sightseeing attraction is this 
a house that spams across the street. So this is Karloška road. It's actually a road. So Karlovac is a town, a city in Croatia. So basically if you go this way, you go to Croatia. Well, you can get to Croatia also. Of course, you will have to make some turns. But yeah, this apparently was built in 1960s. I don't know if they actually constructed or they just built the tower because I checked the registry of cultural heritage and they all only listed the the main tower is built in 1960, but not the house itself. So I don't know if the house was before and they basically demolished the middle part or they actually built it like this. But you know, it's a nice feature. I'm just worried, you know, one oversized lorry truck and it goes so you, you have before you could also see the bridge it's named after the church so Shinkyakovsky most so St. James's bridge and it's one of the newer bridges across the Ljubljanica river it was construction constructed I think only in 18th century so at first it was only a wooden bridge but then uh, I think 1940, 1950 so during the First World War they constructed uh, the bridge as it is today and this for the Hishia Prashiran or Litechis Osim Pazorora so Prashiran, the, our, let's say, the greatest poet, poet that uh, is a namesake of the Prashiran Square, which you have seen in the previous tour around Ljubljana. So he lived here for six years while he wrote uh, Sonete na Sreće and Sonetni Venet. So he wrote sonnets while he was couple of very famous sonnets his works while he was living here interesting design so this is all part of the parish and now we are basically already left the Leostik square and we are now going to Gorni Turk which is basically upper square one of the older squares and I believe that I have already shown you this part when we were with Lisa walking to the castle one time and here we have another church so we have quite a lot of churches. <laughs> 